But I don't think there's any chance of a last minute change of heart in terms of plans for Prince Harry to meet with his family at all. Um, I mean, logistically, it would be quite challenging. We know he's just arrived at, an, at a venue in London for the World Child Awards. He'll be here tomorrow on Friday and um, to mark the anniversary of the Queen's death, which I think he's going to do probably privately. And I think the fact that there isn't any family reunion really gives us quite an indication as to the state of the relationship both between Prince Harry and his father and with his brother. I'm told really very, very strange with William. There, there haven't been any conversations for a long time. My royal sources just say that any chance of a, of a reconciliation really uh, isn't ruled out, but it's, it's certainly not going to happen anytime soon. The Prince of Wales, Prince William is, is still incredibly upset with, with Harry's autobiography, which of course really cast William in a pretty bad light. I mean, no one's going to forget anytime soon the stories of them coming to physical blows and William allegedly shoving Prince Harry um, and, and forcing him onto the ground where he landed onto a dog bowl. I mean, a very graphic retelling of that anecdote from Prince Harry's um, side of the story in his book Spare. And of course, there's been so much criticism leveled at the royal family. They don't talk there hasn't been any contact between them for some time now. I think relations are certainly very strained with his father and, and very difficult with William. I mean, I'm told by a source, several sources close to the Prince of Wales that William really just cannot find it in his heart at the moment, certainly, to forgive his brother for what he's done. And I think, you know, Kate, Princess of Wales, um, she's always, always had a very close relationship with Prince Harry, but she's been left quite devastated by some of the anecdotes that Harry told in Spare, um, you know, that didn't cast her in a particularly good light. So I think there's a, a great sense of betrayal. We don't have a detailed itinerary for Prince Harry's travel plans. In fact, the whole trip's been very much shrouded in secrecy. What will he be doing tomorrow to mark the anniversary of the Queen's death? I suspect it's going to be very low key. However Prince Harry marks it, it, it will be private, it will be low key, and it won't be with the King in Scotland, and it won't be with the Prince and Princess of Wales.